Hi, this is Melissa and I'm with Escrow Leaders. I'm here today with Keith Watts of Watts Team Real Estate and we are at one of his most recent listings here, his, one of his flip properties in Aliso Viejo. And I just wanted to ask Keith a couple questions as to kind of the process of his flips. Um, okay, well this isn't technically a flip. Um, well, I guess most people when they do flips, they think um, it's an investment property that they bought and then turn around and relist it right away. A lot of uh, what we do, which is very similar to flips, is we'll get someone who's had a long-term tenant or maybe even lived there a long time and bought a new house and they give us a small window of vacancy where we were able to go in and fix the house up and get it ready for remarketing. And we call it a flip because it has the same components of a flip. We get the keys, we're in a hurry to get everything done, we bring our trusted contractors through, we get the house staged up and we get it marketed. And uh, we try to take all that out of our clients' hands and uh, take care of all of, all of the uh, air traffic control that goes along with bringing a bunch of subcontractors through a house. So we call it a flip. In this case, it was a long-term rental and now the gentleman that owned it brought us in because he wanted to have it resold. So. Our flip is probably different than everyone else's flip. This particular one, was this a tenant occupied? It was, it was, it was tenant occupied for probably two years. Okay, and, and what was the condition of this house? Well, like most, you know, like most tenant occupied houses, they're not treating it like it's their own. So um, usually the floors are pretty dirty, if, if they're even salvageable. Um, usually it needs paint, a lot of paint. Um, and usually, you know, there's usually a deep clean involved on a lot of things like appliances, um, flooring, and um, you know even some of the systems, you know, hot water heaters and such. So we try to go through and, and really try to make it look more like a new house than a worn down house that's kind of occupied. Right. So my first my first thought was as I walked up, why don't you look anything like your sign here in your suit? And <laughs> okay. Well, we, okay. So we just got the keys on this one. Usually when when I just excuse me, we just got the keys back from the contractors on this one. So usually when I show up at the house and we take a look around, there's always some loose ends that have to be wrapped up that may recall me uh, taking out some garbage or picking up some loose items. Got it. So, so you're I've, pretty hands off. I've ruined too many suits yeah. <laughs> showing up here doing that. So I have no excuse for not shaving. So, <laughs> so All right. do you want Let's to go inside? Try. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we walk inside the house, and my first thought is that someone's living here. But you said that obviously it was a tenant occupied and they moved out. Yeah, that's right. So all this is staged. Um, the stager comes in, and we use the same stager on everything. She's awesome. Her name is Marion Fernandez, and she'll come in, look at the room, figure out what we already have, like what type of flooring, what colors the walls have been painted, even things like how low the ceilings are or what the decor is on the fireplace. And then she comes in and puts her furniture in. I think she has like three warehouses of furniture. Mm -hmm. And so she'll come in and it takes her a day or so to figure out the exact right matches. And then she'll have it staged up. And I mean, it ends up looking exactly like a model home. It absolutely does. So it took about what, a day to get this all installed and up to Well, it, take, it takes her uh, a day really to figure out what's gonna be in there. But we found that while the painters are in here and while the other people are finishing up, she can figure that out. The actual furniture drop is literally just a couple hours on a house like this size. So we can we know if the painters are going to be done by lunchtime, we can bring her in that afternoon and she'll be done. We just like to get her a start while the other people are still the here. The floors look super clean. The, the paint you said is fresh. So mm -hmm. I don't have to, I'd have to think that that stuff goes in first and then she comes in a couple hours later. Yeah, I mean the first people to get the keys are the trash out people. So if there's stuff that has to be removed, they remove it. Then the painters come in, tape up everything they're not going to paint, and then paint the house. Um, after the painters are done, if there's some flooring stuff that needs to be done, whether in this case we didn't replace the floors down here, we uh, did what's called a degrease because it's um, on ceramic tile, on travertine, you can do almost like you would steam clean the carpet. And so that's what we did on these. Um, the flooring guys, if there's new carpet that needs to be done, they'll come in a little after the painters if necessary. So on, on this house, flooring, carpet, um, paint, floor to ceiling, baseboards, doors, uh, and in the kitchen we did some work. Got it. Now, do you ever have people living here when you're doing that process, or is it usually an, an empty home? They, they can work around anyone. You know, it's like hiring a professional painter or hiring a, a, a carpet company. They can move furniture and they can work around anyone. 
Um, but when we have a vacant house, it's like anyone, we can get it done three times as fast. We're not working off someone else's schedule and avoiding people. And, but they can, you know, it takes a little longer, but they can do anything, you know. So, and that happens sometimes. We'll get an owner occupant that sees what we're doing, says, I want to do that to my house before I sell. We just need a little more time to get it done, and usually they're happy to give us the time. They don't want us, you know, bumping into them while they're living their day-to-day -day lives. So. I do have a question. Who pays for all of this? Well, um, in a situation, well, in almost every situation, um, the items that have to do with the house itself, the rehabbing of the house, whether it's new carpet or new paint, is all paid for by the homeowner. So what we'll do is uh, we'll send our crew through and we'll give them a list of those licensed contractors quotes and invoices. And uh, we submit those to the homeowner and everything the homeowner approves will help project manage and execute and get the work done by our contractors. Um, we have people that we trust and we work with, uh, but we don't push hard at all. You know, the seller can use whoever they want. Uh, it's fine with us. We just recommend that they're licensed, insured and all that. Um, in this case, they put it all in our hands, so we're able to use the people that we always use. And uh, to be fair to them, JC Restoration and Carlos Castaneda and some of the other people we use, um, even when they're in bidding wars, they tend to win the bid. They tend to get the work either way. So, uh, and that's just over years of us using them, we found they have the best pricing. And then because we're loyal to them, because we're loyal to everyone from our locksmith to our painters to our heater HVAC guy, um, most of the time they jump on it. You know, they know that if we need something done, we need it quickly, so they always give it to us. So that's the advantage of having it. Having your team in place. Well, great. Well, you want to see the kitchen? Yeah, let's take a look at the kitchen. Okay, so we're in the kitchen, and my first thought was upgraded appliances, and did you paint the cabinets or replace the cabinets? Yeah, so um, this is a typical kitchen we do. Most of the builder cabinets are just that blonde oak. And um, I mean, they're, they're no different in terms of how they function, but they're a little out of style. Mm -hmm. And they get dirty and the, the veneer kind of chips off them. So we like to just do a, a white spray and make it look clean and brand new. And also, granite, we're seeing a lot these days. Yeah. Any thoughts as to upgrading granite? We don't, we don't bother. The, the philosophy is just get it as clean as possible. So we'll, we'll regrout it to make it clean. Um, what we want is, uh, we want to do it quickly, and we want to do it inexpensively, and we want to make it as clean as possible. So that's why we do new appliances, so a buyer can see that they're brand new. A buyer feels like I can move in. Um, we don't try to recuperate the expenses of a big, uh, you know, a big remodel yeah. onto the buyer. It just allows us to get it clean, allows us to get it shown quickly, and uh, we find buyers will come in and decide that they're going to tear it out and do it how they want. So we don't want to spend that additional money. It's a nice and then, slate. Yeah, we just want a clean slate. So this, this is a typical kitchen. And if you go online and look at some of our previous properties, you'll see we kind of try to do the same thing. If a, if a seller wants us to do more, we will. But it doesn't seem necessary just for a quick sale. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Thank you so much for showing me around. Thanks. Thanks for coming.